Hey guys, as promised, I am here on the red carpet where we are awaiting Kevin Hart and Tiffany Haddish to arrive for the premiere of their new movie, Night School. Stay tuned. If you had one piece of advice for the youth of today, what would that be? Stay focused and believe in yourself and do what you love. Yes. Congratulations, boo. And there you have it from the woman of the hour herself. Stay focused, guys. Stay focused. Nice we here, baby. Hey, so how excited are you to be here tonight um, celebrating Tiffany and Kevin? It's an honor, man, to be here with them. And uh, the movie came out amazing, man. I'm so proud of it. You're going to all enjoy yourself. September 28th, run to the movie theaters. Stay off the fire. It's in its 22nd year. Why do you think that urban girls need to be important? Staple, I mean, for women, women is like yourself. Well, you know what? I, this is a film. an opportunity for film goers who want to see more than what's, what, what Hollywood is offering. You know, it's an opportunity for young and up and coming filmmakers to showcase their talent. Independent filmmakers do the same. This is, this is a very integral fit for me. I've been here from the beginning, from 1997 when we first started out, you know, and, 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 I, and when I saw all Soul Food uh, people right here and, and Hoodlum. And so, you know, two years later, I was able to debut um, uh, The Best Man, and The Work in Progress, and it was this audience that propelled it from their email campaigns to, you know, make it number one in the box office. Yes, it, 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 does that, it does an opportunity to do that, absolutely, yeah. Well, thank you so much for being here, thank you for the interview. such a moment that's so big that you always at the same time you want to show the world that you that's can do so much more, more you know what I'm saying? So then what's next for you guys? What's next? Yes. Ah man, I'm trying to get into TV, get my own show, be in a movie. Have, that, the, have, the, have the phone call started coming in yet? Yeah, the phone, Those it is. You know, the phone, talk, the phone conversations always came in, but now I'm getting more yeses because people see the range and the... Uh, and the, the work. The, the, the work, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The, work, the social media too, because a lot right. of people... In the world, they kind of downplay social media comedians and stuff we do on Instagram. Right. But we have such a big impact on things that go on in the world. So, like, that moment really showed other people that, yo, people on IG can really make a difference. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, thank you so thank much you. and continue success to you. Biggest lesson that I've learned? Wash the back of my knees. Oh, what? what? We're in a business where people of color have asked for opportunity. People of color have said that we lack the opportunities. We're now in a position where people of color are not only getting these opportunities, but we're getting recognized. I just said that she won an Emmy. I just, I can name uh, people of color that have just won Oscars. I can say that this road to equality is a long road that we're fighting for, but that we're seeing, we're seeing progress. When you see people in a position where they're winning and they're one of us, celebrate those people and don't choose to tear them down because you become a part of the problem. I ask you guys, as media and as press, don't be a part of the problem, be a part of the solution. Celebrate us when we see us winning. We can't win as people if we don't allow us to open up the doors for more of us.